Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. I have a quick video for you today. I'm going to show you my 10 favorite tools that I like to use in my sewing room. So hang around, I'm going to go through with you which tools I like to use the best and why. If you like any of the products that I use or want to know more, I'll pop a link in the description box down below. And I'll just mention too, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. These are just things that I actually like to use, some of which I've been using for many years. Some of them are fairly new, but I do love all of them. Let's start number 10 with one of the products that I use almost every single day, and that is my cutting ruler. This is a So Easy brand. I don't have a preference for a brand. It's just that this is really good to see through, especially on different colored fabrics. Uh, it is 24 inches long and six and a half inches wide. I find this one really good for patchwork fabric or quilting fabric because the quilting fabric on the fold is around about 21 to 22 inches. The ruler fits the fabric perfectly. And when you've got your cutting mat underneath, you can cut everything all in one go without having to shift a small ruler. So I really like my 24 inch by six and a half inch cutting ruler. And I use that in conjunction with my rotary cutter. This is another one of my favorite tools. I actually have quite a lot of different rotary cutters and I don't have a preference for a brand again, although it would look like I really like the Clover brand. I do, it's green, it's my favorite color. I use an assortment of different sizes. I've got the 60 mil, 45 mil and 28 mil. And in inches, I think that's two and a quarter then one and three quarters and one and a quarter. Because I do so much cutting of fabric, I used to cut up a lot of fat quarters as well. So I prefer the 60 mil or the two and a quarter inch cutter because I get everything cut so much quicker. Because I cut so much fabric, it's much more practical for me to use the biggest rotary cutter blade that I can get. This one is the 45 mil, which is about one and three quarters. It's just a really good standard size for most home sewers. And and this little one, and I believe there's even an even smaller one than this, is fantastic for cutting on curves. So if I were to cut this fabric out and I would say I was working on an armhole or cutting out an armhole, I can go and cut this out with a really nice curve. But you can see how I can do a really nice curve with such a small rotary cutter. If I've got a big one like this, it's a little bit more difficult. It's um, a little bit more clunky. You've got to go slower. So you can still do it, but I do find it much easier to cut curves with a smaller cutter. There we have the three different sizes that I like to use for my rotary cutters, along with my 24 inch ruler. This tool here is something that I don't use very often. It's usually just used if I need to poke a hole in fabric. I especially like to use this all when I'm using uh, press studs and I need to put those little snap fasteners in. It's got a nice sharp point and I can just go, this is upholstery fabric, so it goes through the layers just like a hot knife through butter. So it's a really good, useful tool nice and sharp, but do make sure you keep your point on there. Great for marking on patterns as well. Number seven on my favorite list of things to use is the Wash Away Quilters Tape. This brand is by So Easy, which is the same brand that the ruler came from. And it's an eight mil, which is five sixteenths of an inch. I actually prefer something that's only about six millimeters, but this Wash Away Quilters Tape is really nice to use. I find it doesn't gum up my needles. A lot of people complain about the double-sided tape gumming up their needles. I've never had a problem with this particular product, so I'm happy to use that. I will probably look for something a little bit narrower just for my zips. I'm really happy to be using this particular brand. I love that I don't have to worry about my needles gumming up. What have we got next? Taylor's chalk. So I use a lot of chalk and look, white chalk is probably the best thing to use, especially when you're doing dressmaking. And I've got this one here is a little chalk holder. If I show you on the fabric, it'll do really nice thin lines. And this one actually has a chalk sharpener on it as well. There's a lot of these chalks that you can get that have sharpeners, but they're very expensive. This one here is the cheapest one I could find 
and it's got a little blade on the inside and you just run your chalk along the blade like this and you can sharpen the edges and give yourself a nice fine edge. Uh, as far as coloured chalk, I've just buy a little container here that's got lots of different colours in there and I can use that on the fabrics that are a little bit difficult to see when you're using white chalk. But the beauty of this one is that I can actually still use that to sharpen my other pieces of chalk. If you only ever have one piece of chalk, get this one here with the cheapest one with the little sharpener on it and then you can just sharpen all your other chalks as well. But that's cool with a little holder on it. This one here is only about two dollars I think retail in Australia. This one is about five dollars or so in Australia. Another product that you see me use constantly is my seam gauge. I cannot live without this. I have probably about half a dozen of them that I use quite regularly. This tool is absolutely fantastic for marking hems. I use this for my alterations every day. So when I'm marking the hems for jeans, I can just move the slider up and down, can put it to the one inch mark there, and then I can just mark my hem with my chalk and my ruler. So it's very, very simple to use. The slider just moves up and down. And this comes in a six inch length. This has got inches on one side and centimeters on the other side. You can also use it to mark circles as well. So you just need to keep this in one position and then you'll mark circles. But I do have a better product for that. So this is the seam gauge. This is six inches long. It's the most valuable tool I've got in my sewing room and probably the cheapest one as well. I think it's under $2 to buy them. Thread snips are also invaluable to have in your sewing room. I have a couple of different types. These ones here, I used to sell a lot of these because they're very good on people that have, say, arthritic hands or mobility issues, carpal tunnel, because they're bigger to hold. You're not ripping your hands together as tightly. So they're very nice to use. They've got the wide handle and then you've got these ones here, which just are just a really cheap thread snip. I used to use these all the time, but I've now sort of gone because my hands are a lot better than they used to be. I favor these little thin ones now. They're quick and smooth, easy to use. Thread snips are another invaluable item to have in your sewing room. This product is something that you see me use quite often in my videos and they work in conjunction together. This product is by a company called Sewline. I do believe you can get them all over the world. And this one here is an air erasable or a water erasable pen or marker. So you mark your lines and depending on the humidity, it'll actually fade away very quickly. This one here is the erasable. So it's called the Duo and it's got an eraser on there and I believe it's only water in there. I'm not sure, but I, I do believe it's only water. But all you need to do is trace back over the line that you've just drawn and it'll remove that line. Once that's dry, you won't see that there's been a mark there at all. The only problem with it, if you've made a mistake and you've erased your line, Whilst this is still wet, you won't be able to draw over the top, but you can go across it. If you wanted to redraw over that line, you would go and hit it with the iron just to dry the fabric quickly again. Sew line make really good products. I've got a whole bunch of their uh, different marking tools. Oh, and clips. Clips and pins are a staple in my sewing room. You can get them in different lengths. You can get them in different widths or thicknesses. These ones here are about three eighths of an inch wide and these ones here are probably just over an eighth of an inch wide and you can get them in longer ones as well. I'm happy enough with these. They serve me very, very well. And the last product that I'm going to show you is something that's fairly new to me, but I wanted something that was a little bit longer than the seam gauge that I usually use. And this is a really long seam gauge. Now this one here is by a company called Clover. You would have seen that in my rotary cutters and my all. I do like the Clover brand. And this one here, I find sometimes I just need to mark really long hems. It's very easy to use. You just push the slide slide there and the slide moves really well right along your ruler. It's got a little swivel thing at the other end here. So if I wanted to mark circles, I can pop a pin in the end there and 
pin that to my fabric or I can just hold it with my finger and then put a pen through here and start marking my curves. So you can mark a series of curves as well just by moving your slider down. So if I can move mine to two inches now, I can pop my pencil in the hole here and you can see that's doing a really nice pencil line. And then I can come back down to say three inches and mark another series of curves. So you can see by keeping the pivot point in one spot, you can get some really nice even curves and make your circles going all the way around. Fantastic if you're doing those helping hands card holders, especially if you're doing hats as well and you need to mark some curves. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's only in inches. Although I do work mostly in inches, I do like to have the option of both, but it's actually still a really good tool. And that is the Clover Supersize 5-in-1 sliding gauge. And there we have it, my 10 most favoured tools in my sewing room. And look, probably really number 11 because my cutting mat is an absolute essential and it's hidden away in plain sight. My top tools for my sewing room, for my alterations, and for all the videos that I like to make for you guys as well. If you've got any tools that you think uh, I should be adding to my sewing room, let me know. I'd love to know what they are. I do love my gadgets. So do let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.